Well, hey, Conexus, if you were with us this past Sunday, you know that I took a few moments at the beginning of our services to share a little bit with you about the heartbreaking images and footage that we're seeing on screens all around us. And Kerry took a moment as a part of his message to, to share something meaningful around this as well. And so if you weren't a part of our Sunday services, I would encourage you to go back and watch that service. But I want to take a few moments here and share a little more with you. You know, of all of the images we've seen, perhaps for me, the most heartbreaking has been seeing the lives of Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd taken from them. These two black men just having their lives taken from them right in front of us. And we've seen all kinds of images since then. Images of violence, images of rioting, other loss of life, other, other injury. And when we see all of that, it brings up a lot of emotion. Uh, for you, maybe it brings up emotions of anger or frustration or sadness or grief or mourning or maybe an emotion of fear. Maybe you have emotions of fear. Maybe you're not feeling anything and you're wondering why you're not. I want to invite you to um, ask Jesus to be in the midst of those emotions. I believe that he wants to minister to you there and that he wants to speak to you there. And then I want to ask you to pray. Be in prayer for the protesters. Be in prayer for those who are marching. Be in prayer for those who have lost loved ones. Be in prayer for uh, police officers. There are many great police officers who um, are also grieving in the midst of this and at the same time trying to figure out how to serve and protect people. Pray that God would be in the midst of this, that Jesus would be in the midst of this, that, that somehow he would rule and he would reign. And then as we process all of this and as we pray, it brings up some important conversations. Conversations about bias and stereotypes and violence and conversations about racism. And I want to take a moment and share with you what scripture has to say about racism. Now our history of racism in Canada is different than that of the United States. Well, it's different. Racism is a part of our society in Canada and it's important conversation to have. Now scripture is clear that racism is a sin. In fact at the very beginning of scripture in Genesis God creates human beings in his image. That um, they're incredibly valuable to him and they're of equal value. And then at the end of scripture in Revelation we see an image scripture says every tongue every tribe every nation praising God for who is who he is and the opportunity that they have to have a relationship with him and in between uh, Genesis and Revelation we see the gospel and no more clearly do we see the gospel lived out than in the life of Jesus as he lives his life uh, the way he lives breaks down racial barriers as he lives his life he also advocates for um, equality for women in a society that would have looked down on them. And as you see Jesus living his life, he dies and he rose again for all people, for salvation for all people, so that all people might have a relationship with him. In fact, he's so excited about it, he tells the disciples, you need to go to every nation and tell everybody about this. You know, the gospel is about love and grace and truth and racism flies in the face of the gospel. And in order to combat racism, we wanna be people of love and of grace and of truth. And as followers of Jesus, I, I wanna challenge you in a couple of ways today. The first way is I wanna challenge you to examine your own heart. You know, it's easy to jump on the bandwagon as you see other people posting on social media, you post on social media. And there seems to be, there can be this kind of temporary change where you feel this emotion today, but it's gone tomorrow. That's not the kind of people we want to be. We want to be the kind of people who are looking for change and transformation in our own lives for the long term that we might become more like Jesus. I share with you on Sunday from Psalm 19, may the words of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart be pleasing to you, O God. Scripture is clear that while human beings look at the outward appearance, God looks at our hearts. And would you be brave enough to come to Jesus and say, hey, through your spirit, I want you to shine a light on any racism in my heart, any stereotyping in my heart, any biases in my heart, 
any violence in my heart, would you shine a light on the places where I should be standing up for injustice in my life and I haven't been doing that? And then come to God and repent and confess those things. And as you do that, you'll become more like Jesus. And you'll see the, the fruits of his spirit in your life. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The second thing I want to challenge you to do is to continue the conversation. I had the privilege prior to coming to Conexus to be involved in full-time ministry at an ethnically diverse church in the city of Mississauga. And one of the things I learned about uh, combating racism is the importance of conversation and the importance of listening and having the courage to do that with love and grace and truth. And it can be easy for us to post something on social media, watch something on our Facebook feed, and then push the conversation of racism under the rug. And I want to continue, I want to encourage you to continue the conversation with your spouse, with your kids, with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, with your neighbors, with people who you wouldn't normally spend time with. Continue the conversation and make listening a priority. And it'll be amazing how you see Jesus change and transform you and make you an agent of reconciliation and an agent of unity in your world. You know, this isn't just an important conversation for uh, ethnically diverse communities like Mississauga that are just rich in ethnic diversity, but also in central Ontario where we continue to grow in ethnic diversity and it's making our community more and more vibrant and more and more exciting. And if we want that to continue, then we want to continue the conversation about racism and we want to do it in love and in grace and in truth. And then we want to be in prayer, prayer for our community and prayer for our church and prayer for our neighbors to the south and prayer for ourselves, that we would continue to be people who live out the gospel, a gospel that is for people, for all people, a gospel of love, and of grace, and of truth.